let's talk about Seattle, Arizona. I oh. don't understand the Seahawks. They went from great defense first three weeks to the worst defense in the league, or second worst for 10 weeks, and now they seem to shut out or nearly shut well, out every opponent they have. I explained that last Wednesday. I said there was a lot of injuries, yep. and as I've dug into it more, they replaced two of their linebackers during their bye week. They brought in, I think, two guys off the street, or they upped one guy and brought in a guy off the street. And there's just, I mean, whatever combination of changes since that buy, it's been excellent. Hey, I loved Arizona in this game. I'll eat crow. Yeah. Uh, and they got they got rolled, and their defense that I was touting just got smashed. So Seattle put up 400 on them. Nothing fluky at all about that. Great game by Seattle. Bad game by Arizona. When a team fails in a home run spot, that's not a team I want to invest in typically um, going forward. Arizona lost the yardage by 53 yards, minus 1.2 yards per play. Uh, they which, couldn't even stop a backup running back. I mean, Kenneth Walker didn't play in this game, and Zach Charbonnet rushed for 134 yards. Yeah, I, you know, a wine? I think Saquon matters at this point, and I think um, Henry matters at this point. I'm not sure many other running backs really matter. I think I, I think you know the Bengals running back might matter just because I don't even know who the backup is. I, I he's never he never plays. The, the backup's hurt. He's fresh. I don't know who the third the <laughs> third string guy is. Yeah, it's I, interesting. All three of the top three running backs this year are traded guys: Barkley, Henry, and then Josh Jacob went to the Packers. And the fourth guy, Jameer Gibbs, was another guy everyone said was you know way too expensive as a first round pick for the Lions. Henry didn't have any yards this week. <laughs> and he's still second. I actually pull up the year to date rushing numbers, Mackenzie, if you would. All right. Is I didn't see it updated for this week, but I was looking at it and it's like Henry was above. Uh, Henry and Saquon were like, I think it was four. Am I thinking 400 yards? It was like 1,200 versus. I don't know. I want to see. It was crazy. The, 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 the yeah, distance. it's a 350 yard gap now between Henry at two and Barkley's ahead of him, and then Josh Jacobs at three. Yeah, so give, give me the numbers for the top three. So Barkley, 1,600, Henry, 1,400, Josh Jacobs, 1,050. Think about that. For Henry, I mean, honestly, Fez, and you weren't the only one, three years ago we thought he carried the ball too much, he, he's done. This is going to be one of the, what, 20 best running back seasons of all time if he, he keeps going? Maybe top 10. And, and you know, and, and I mean, Barkley he, has to be ahead of him. He but. does this commercial, RJ, have you seen where he goes, auto, home, and he's working out. And he looks washed. He looks like as, as as out of shape. I mean, McKenzie looks in way better shape than Derrick Henry did in that commercial. Uh, I don't know how that he, – he must have hit the gym hard before the season started. <laughs> <laughs> and you can make money off that, guy. Oh, no. <laughs> Home. Fez, Fez, <laughs> yeah, under. You've been batting him under. Did you have him under this year? Oh, I'm sure I got him under somewhere. <laughs> I t- I'm impressed. That's all. And speaking of Baltimore, even though it's a buy, if you actually look at the EPA of the quarterback accumulated and you look at the running part of it, so running accumulated EPA, right, cumulative, I guess you'd call it, and then the same with passing, Lamar is so far ahead of anyone. It's crazy. And you know who has a net negative EPA, which is hard to do if you're any good? C.J. Stroud. Right now on the season, net negative EPA, counting running and passing. That's interesting. I mean, it's, it's almost hard to believe. I, you know what we should do for Wednesday's night night's taping? I'll get a list of all the net negatives. He's not going to look right on that list. Hmm. All right, so uh, although I, I will, okay. one, one final thing on the running, uh, do you know who leads the NFL in rushing touchdowns? <sighs> no, Jalen Hurts. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Deserves Actually, he's none t- of them. He's tied with Derrick Henry. They both have thirteen. Well, we got to do something about that offense, though. <laughs> but think about that. Sa- Saquon Barkley, who's having the greatest rushing season ever, he's got 11 touchdowns. If his quarterback didn't vulture 13 touchdowns away from him, realistically, we could be looking at a guy that has 20 touchdowns already on the season. Yeah, that is impressive. But maybe a knee injury in there, too, down on the goal line. Yeah, yeah. but what was it? Was it Sean Alexander who had that one year where he had like 27-something yeah. touchdowns? MVP yeah. year. For Seattle. That's yeah. the year Pittsburgh being the Super Bowl, um, if I recall. And then literally two years later, uh, Alexander, is that how? Yeah, yeah Sean Alexander. Yeah. He, he was averaging like 2.9 yards a carry. Yep. He was one of the key guys in that 370 number, if I remember. Is, if I'm remembering, is that 370? Yeah, is that rule the of number? 370, yeah. 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 Um, Okay, so what was the um, projected scores 
in the Seattle game. Seattle should have won. Maybe it should have been a little bit closer. PFF had it as a six-point win. Kevin Cole had it as a four-point win. Now, what do we have uh, on division odds right now? One sec. And oh, it's going to be Dunzo because the media says they have a three-game lead. <laughs> well, well that's th- this is where we take advantage of it. It's yeah. uh, Seahawks minus 110, Rams plus 160. Oh, yeah, because now the Rams can win. Yeah. All right, so let's go back, or let's go to but that Arizona's Rams. Arizona's what, 18 to 1? Plus 700. Oh, plus 700, forget let's that. Let's go back to that Rams game. Well, not back, but let's go to it. One of the most impressive offensive performances I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Between the teams. Um, what was it? There was one There was uh, one field goal in the game, and what were there, six touchdowns each, was it? No, yep. Josh, Josh Allen threw for three and rushed for three. All right, so, so literally 12 combined touchdowns and one field goal? No turnovers. And no turnovers. What a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, is it really? It, it's almost like the defense isn't there. I don't know. I mean, Josh Allen single handedly put block, me in the fantasy there was football a block, playoffs. Yeah. So there was a block punt <laughs> touchdown. That's true. That is true. Um, I saw that. But I, I, you know what's so interesting about that one? If you look, if you go to ESPN, whoever's up right or whoever has it up, go to ESPN and look at the scoring on this game. And what they have is touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. You know, touchdown, field goal, and then it has block punt. Yeah, it says BP. It's very but weird. Yeah, it, yeah, it makes no sense because it's still at. Because if it was an interception return for mm-hmm. a touchdown, it would say touchdown. <laughs> yeah, it could be the least valuable block punt touchdown in the history of the NFL because they would have just thrown it to Puka and, and Cup and got a touchdown probably. <laughs> But why does the system even have BP in it? Like, shouldn't it just default to TD? It's very weird. No, I tell you, it is is confusing because if you're doing drives, Mm. right, think about drives, and then when there is a return touchdown or a block punt or a block field goal for a touchdown, the same team gets the ball. Like, who – was that a drive by the team that intercepted it? No, they didn't snap a ball. So, in a way, the outcome of your drive is opponent touchdown. Now – I could see him saying opponent touchdown, breaking it down by block punt. I don't see the point of that. But you could see where that can't be a touchdown because it's not a touchdown for the team with the ball, right? Right. So it's a touchdown by the opponent. It's a negative seven-point drive. Yeah, it's it's a very interesting uh, scenario. Um, Any other – I mean, listen, the Bills – well, first off, the Rams can beat anyone. Yes, I I think we can say that, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Matt Stafford, 98 QBR. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback. He's a Super Bowl winner. He hasn't had a great season statistically, but I think he was right by Mike Sando be, to be a top five quarterback before the season. Well, you mean Mike Sando's survey? Yes, of yeah. GMs and coaches. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't see how there's a guy that if he plays like this, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it, he seems he plays back poorly about half the games, right? I mean, where's he at in the our PFF hybrid with the? Uh, with the um, he's thirteenth, nineteenth in yeah, PFF, so how's he top eighth five? in QBR. How's he top five? I, I should have said I think he has the potential oh. to be top, like 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 you're saying he can beat anybody or they can beat anybody. I think it's because when he's on, he's on. You know what? Not just that, but if you just throw it like I, I'm, I've been bragging on guys like who's the Charger guy that keeps dropping passes? Quentin Johnson. Yeah, that dude. Um, the opposite of the, these Rams guys. If, oh yeah. If, if, I mean, be- who, best who, receiver duo in the league. Puka and Cup. Like you just put it in their their area code, right? And what, what do they call their um, catch radius? Their catch radius. Thank you. If you put it in their catch radius, Puka never drops the ball. There was one play where a defender was hanging all over him, and he didn't catch. It. I was still shocked. I was like, I've never seen that dude drop a ball. Okay, so if we look at the stats. The Rams do quite well in everything except efficiency. So um, they – let's think about this. The Rams were uh, – well, I guess it's only 12 yards, but four first downs better. Four first downs better. But Buffalo on the uh, net yards per play correctly calculated, one and a half plus one and a half yards. So who should have won this game, Fez? Probably Buffalo by two. And by Buff, the way, that yeah. was Buffalo that was plus one and a half. The Rams dominated, but the efficiency was Buffalo, and you think Buffalo by two. The analytics agree with you. 2.7 is the average number. Yeah. Okay. And what's the win share, say? Win share uh, was Rams, 85%. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, they're up two scores. Yeah. And then, you know, Buffalo. Should we, should we talk the game theory bad decision, according to Tom Brady and everyone else watching, that uh, they shouldn't have ran on first and goal with 40 seconds left? I'm, Fez, I'm going to give you 30 seconds on this. Can I talk about another decision? I don't think it mattered. They were they were done so. 
Or what, why? Because even if they threw a touchdown pass, how are they? How are they? That, well, then they still have, have three, three timeouts. Oh, it off. Okay. By running the ball, they call the timeout. I, yeah, after that was first a down. that was a big blunder. I agree. Lombardi talked about that. Is you got to keep it away from an onside I, kick. I, game, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and Tom Brady, I'll give him credit. He like he's had a lot of games this year where it's like tough to listen to, but he was spot on. He said you throw it three times. Yeah. And you save your time out before the play yeah. even happened. Before the yeah. play even happened, Brady said, "This is what you have to do here." Of course, Throw I, it three I, times. So, so I'm wrong. I should I should have just said that. But the uh, earlier the Rams did correctly what Arizona did wrong against Minnesota, namely they're up three and they come they they're like come hell or high water, we got to get the touchdown here. And so they were super aggressive, and so they got up not they got up the two scores. That's what won them the game. 